Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Hope you guys are well. Hope you're doing awesome. What is happening? All right, happy Saturday. Uh, if you're watching a replay of this, please do me a massive favor and stick a hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, then do say new in the comments because I'd like to connect with you. I'd like to say hi. I'd like to welcome you, etc. Hey, Ram. Hopefully you're doing well. Hey, Agle. Hi, everybody. Okay. So, 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 so. Today, I wanted to ask you a question. How should you build your business? fast or slow. And to really illustrate the point, I want to use an example. Uh, and it's an example that most of you will be able to relate. And the example is, I remember when you first learned to ride your bike. Remember when you first learned to ride your bike. And imagine if you had to learn it all over again. Imagine if you try to learn to ride the bike slowly. So imagine you get on the bike, you still don't know how to hold the balance and you try to ride it very, very slowly. Hey, Cornelia. Hey, Anna. Hey, Esther. Hopefully you guys are doing well, right? So you start to ride it very, very slowly. What will happen? You'll probably lose your balance and bam, you go on the side, you bruise yourself, you hurt yourself, right? So you get back on the bike. And you start to ride it again. But again, you're being very careful. So you're riding it slowly, right? You just, the wheels are barely turning, right? That's how you're learning to ride a bike. The wheels are barely turning. What happens? Again, you lose your balance. Bam! You go onto the other side. Again, you're bruising yourself. Again, you're hurting yourself. How long would you go at that before you go, you know what? Riding a bike is not for me. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. This is too painful, right? But guess what? I can almost guarantee that most of you did not learn to ride your bike like that. I can almost guarantee that for most of you, you the first time, maybe somebody helped you to get on the bike. Maybe you got on the bike yourself and then you start pedaling. You start pe because when you're pedaling, when the bike starts going, it's easier to keep the balance if you're actually going faster. Does that make sense? Would you agree with that? Right? Then if you're going slowly, when you're going slowly on the bike, that's when it's the hardest to keep the balance. But if you're going quickly, I mean, it doesn't have to be a speed of light, but if you're going fairly fast, it's much easier to hold the balance. And once you've been riding for five, 10 minutes, now you're gaining the confidence. Now you know that you're on the bike stable. Now you're excited and then it becomes easier and easier and easier to ride the bike before, you know, you don't even have to think about it. Hey, Florence, welcome along. Hey, Fonz. Hopefully you guys are doing awesome, right? Hey, Demante. Right? So the easiest way to ride, to learn to ride the bike is fast, right? Because the slower you do it, the bigger the chance that you fall. But if you ride it fast, you start balancing, you learn how to balance. And before you know it, you know how to do it, etc. Well, learning, starting in business, building your business, it's actually very, very similar way. It's very similar way. If you try to build your business slow, and again, some of you have seen those presentations, you know, just invite one person a month and in 13 months, you'll be a diamond, right? Uh, where you invite one and the next month, your one invites one and you invite one and there's now two, four of you. And then, you know, the four of you invite one and then there's eight of you. In reality, slow and steady kills the business. It doesn't make the business work. You know, in business, you want the speed. Success loves speed. Momentum, in order for your business to get into momentum, it requires speed. It requires you to bring in a bigger number of people. It requires you to take in a bigger amount of action. So like with that bike, when you're learning to ride it and you want to start pedaling, same in your business. If you join your business and you're only going to give it 10 minutes a day, you're only going to make one phone call or you're only going to send one message or you're only going to approach one person. Oh my God, it's going to be a tough one. You're going to be falling on your sides all over the place. You're going to be pissed off. You're going to be disappointed. You're going to be fed up with it before you even see any results. So the fast, the best way and the easiest way 
to get your business into momentum, to get your business going, is to do a burst of activity. So if you're brand new, you do that burst right away. If you've been in a business for a year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years, what, how long you've been, but you haven't had results yet, and you want to change that, one of the easiest ways to do that is to do a big burst of focused activity, right? Or even if you're having results in your business, you, you're already making money, you're already successful, but you want to go to the next level, one of the best ways to do it is with a huge burst of activity, with speed, bringing in 10, 20, 30, 40 people in a short period of time in your business and exploding your business. That's one of the best ways to get your business going. And if you're a brand new person, that is probably the fastest and, and the only way I would say to start building your business, unless you want to go through a very painful, very slow process. Then I would say start with a huge burst of activity. Start building it fast. Make that decision that, okay, it's not going to be an overnight success. It's not going to happen, you know, uh, immediately. You know, some of you have seen the, the video I shared yesterday uh, in our team group uh, about Jeff Altgilbers, right? You know, he's a 41-year overnight success. <laughs> so the guy's been in the business for 41 years, right? So, I mean, and he's extremely successful, right? But the point here being that, of course, it's going to take some time. Even if you start building your business fast, it's still going to probably you looking three, four, five, six, seven, maybe uh, 12 months to get your bone, to get your business in a real momentum, to get your business in a real, you know, good paying income, etc. So it's still not going to be overnight. Even if you go full on at it, it's not going to be an overnight thing. It's still going to take at least a couple of months, right? Because, you know, a lot of you might get disillusioned. A lot of you might go, okay, I'll go fast. And then in two weeks from now, I'm already making five grand a month. Ain't going to happen. It's very rare. You know, you'll hear these stories that it happened to somebody, but I don't like to even promote stories like that where somebody starts making money, huge money in, you know, two, three weeks time. I like to promote slow success. So not slowly building the business, but slow success when somebody has had to work three, six, seven, eight months, and then their business you know, started hitting huge income. So it's better to promote that because it will not discourage people who have been for two weeks in business and haven't made a million. You know what I mean? But you want to get the business going. You want the income producing activity at as much high level as you can. So I know that most people will come into network marketing you know, on a part-time basis. So they have a full-time job. They work eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, and they will come into network marketing. So they will only have a couple of hours a day. But the question is not about the quantity of time. It's about the quality. It's what do you do with that time? Because you could spend hour, two hours a day and absolutely crush it in this business because you're doing income producing activity during that hour, two hours. You're messaging people, you're calling people, you're meeting with people face to face. You're doing all the activity that can grow your business, you know, or you could just sit in front of telly or in front of Facebook and watch Dancing Cats for that one hour, two hours, right? And still say, I'm doing my business. You know, I'm on Facebook for two hours. But what is it that you're doing? You know, a lot of people, they're just doing figure eights, you know, and, and, and they're not getting results, right? So, you know, I'm a strong advocate of, you know, making the business work part time before you go full time. You know, I truly believe that if you can't make this business work part time, then you won't be able to make it work full time either. Quitting your job will make no difference whatsoever. Because if you're wasting right now the one, two, three hours a day that you have spare, then if you quit your job, you're just going to be wasting seven, eight hours instead of three hours. But it ain't going to make any difference. So it's more about what is it that you do with that time, not with the amount of time you have. You know, sometimes we sit, somebody who sits all day long at home, they've got all the time in the world, and you go, ooh, that would be a perfect person to recruit. Hmm. Very often, there's a reason why they sit at home all day long doing nothing, right? And very big reason is that probably they're not going to do anything in your business either, right? And when you recruit a busy person, they only have 30 minutes a day, but they'll start producing more than the rest of your team. Why? Because that person values time. So again, it's about doing those short bursts of activity, 
and as much as you can, squeezing in in that time as much of income producing activity as you can, and it can make a huge difference. So that's my message for today, guys. I hope you got some value. If you did, feel free to share this video with other people. Maybe they need to hear that message too. And if you're already in network marketing and you'd like to get my 26 ways how to find customers and sell more products, then head over to titaniumsuccess.co.uk forward slash sales and you'll be able to download my free audio training with 26 strategies how to get more customers and more sales have an awesome evening guys i love you loads see you at the top bye for now